Hello, how are you guys doing? My name is Omas Augusta Shaka. I'm here again today to talk on a topic titled Anointed to Excel. You know, in life, it's not everybody that struggles. Like there is a said that said, life is full of struggles. Yeah, but there are some people that have entered the realm of struggle free. Jabez understood that mystery and Jabez cried out to God, Oh Lord, enlarge my territory. Save me from evil. Save me from pain, sorrow of life. And the Bible said that God heard Jabez. And that is why a lot of us today, we are praying that prayer of Jabez. So there is a life of stress free. There are men that are living without stress. Stress is general where you go to work, you are tired. Yes, you, 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 you are good to go sleep. But there, is, there are some kind of life that you live, you know it, you know that you are struggling. You struggle with finances, you struggle with pain, sickness and everything. There is a life, there is something that lands on people that, make, that exempt people from that struggle life. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. It is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And that department belongs to the Holy Ghost. So when people are talking about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is in charge of giving people that anointing for them to excel, for them to do exploits. A lot of people, we are so comfortable with the world, like you must walk before you eat. You must, yes, you must walk before you eat. But there are some jobs that people are doing stress-free. I've seen a lot of people, they don't work hard. They just work smart. And they make and they make money out of it but why is it that a lot of us we struggle and at the same time after struggling you eat like an ant because you lack the oil of exploits on your head and that is why i'm here to announce to you today that there is something called anointing to excel and that anointing is what is going to launch you into the land of rest so in the name of Jesus, I pray that that anointing land upon your head in the name of Jesus. The wisdom to excel where others are failing, you are rising. I pray for that kind of wisdom. I pray for that kind of anointing to rest on you. And I pray that the spiritual, your spiritual eyes and your spiritual heart be open to understand what I am telling you today. Men, I will tell you, men, men like Daniel, men like Nehemiah, ne men like like joseph those men they were sold out into the land of slavery but inside that land of slavery god exempted them and gave them the anointing to succeed the bible said joseph became became they took joseph to a palace where he became a ruler a leader in pharaoh's house what about daniel daniel was a slave in that land of pasha but god took him from ordinary slave and make him to become somebody an official in the in a government house what about nehemiah nehemiah was just a slave a cup bearer to the king is a servant to the king but when the anointing landed upon his head that anointing landed him to become a governor in judea so what is going on with our world today we do not recognize the person of the Holy Spirit which is at work. Jesus was at work in his time and the disciple and his people, they recognize that Jesus is on ground. But now we have the Holy Spirit who is giving gifts to a lot of us that is making people to enter stress-free. A lot of us today, we complain about pastors, that pastors, pastors, they are eating people's money. You cannot stop it. You know why? Because they are wise. The Bible said that in the book of Proverbs 11, verses 30, he said, he that winneth so is wise. You that win so, you that save people from destruction, you are wiser than those that are going to church 52 Sundays without getting one person saved in a year. And that is why the pastors, they are getting, they are getting more reward than us. Because why? They are doing the will of the Father. The will of the Father is to go and preach the gospel and baptize people in the name of Jesus. There is someone that told me, he said he doesn't know why God is not answering his prayer. And I asked him, what have you done for God? 
Because a lot of us, right from birth, God has been taking care of us. What have you done for God? And that is why some of us, we have delay of prayers. Delay. There is no answers to your prayers. Why? Because God has already given us the command. Go into the world. Go and preach the gospel. What are we doing as a Christian? And you cry out every day. You go to church 52 Sundays. You sit in church 52 Sundays without, without working for God. I myself that go out to win souls, we cannot have the same reward with those that are just going to church and sit and just fold your hand and you say you have served God. That is not service. Your service is discovering who you are and work in that department. A life without purpose, we always struggle in life. The, the anointing to excel will automatically land on you when you discover your purpose. The anointing to excel to do exploit will automatically land on you when you start using what the gift that God has given to you to, 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 to use on earth. Look at Esther. Look at Mordecai. They are all slaves in another man's land before God took them to a palace. One of the things that allows people, that, learn, that, that make people to, to enjoy exploits in life is discovering what God wants you to do and operating in that area. Then you will see that the anointing to do exploit, anointing to excel will automatically land on you. That whatever thing you set your hand to do, it will not prosper. And because that is why the Bible said that you shall be the head. In the book of Deuteronomy 28 verses 13, it said you shall be the head and not the tail. You shall be above and not beneath. He said, he said, he said, then you shall call upon me later. He said, when you obey my commandments, when you obey what I am telling you now to go and serve God in the area, in the gift that he has given to you, he said that you will not call upon me, I will answer you. So your prayer will not be answered because you have not started using the gift that God has given to you to use. You need to discover who you are and start using those areas to serve God Almighty so that when you call upon God, God, God will not answer and say, here I am. So the anointing of exploit, anointing to excel, cannot just land on your head until you start to use the gift that God has given to you to use. And that is why a lot of us, we struggle in life all throughout our life. We are just like strangers on earth. And at the end of the day, you die without achieving anything in life. So I pray today that God should give you the understanding to know who you are, to know your purpose, so that the Holy and, and recognize that the Holy Spirit is at work to help us in this end time. So if you are a Christian listening to me now, there are people that are living a life without struggles. And one of the things that land people into those stress-free life are service, service in the house of God. Having the heart for people. Nehemiah had the heart for people. Nehemiah was a cup bearer when, a, when his brother came from Judea and tell him that the walls of the walls of Jerusalem have fallen and our people are suffering. Je, the, the Bible said Je, Jeremiah, uh, Nehemiah wept when he heard that. So if you do not have people in your mind and you do not have God, because if you have God in your mind, you will have your people in your mind to, to, to help people, to give to people. When you have those kind of things in your heart, as, as Nehemiah did, automatically the anointing to excel will land upon you. And that is why if you go and read the book of Nehemiah, you will see that at the ending, Nehemiah was given the position of a governor because when he heard that his people are suffering, he wept. And God used him to build that wall. Are you available today? Jeremiah discovered discover his, his gift that I can do this, I can encourage my people to come back to God again. Who are you? My question is to you today is, who are you? What are you here on earth to do? What is the gift that God has given to you to exercise on earth? What are you doing with that gift today? These are the questions that I'm asking you today. I pray that the Holy, that the Holy Spirit open your eyes to help you discover who you are. And I will leave you with this question that each day ask yourself, who am I? And that, we, that, that question is going to lead you to the answer of discovering who you are through the help of the Holy Spirit. And that is what, when you discover yourself, that is when you will not enter rest. And the anointing to excel 
will start functioning in your life. May God help us in the name of Jesus. I will stop here today and um, I'll talk to you next week. Bye.